Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Morning, noon and night. Seven o'clock. Time to get up. Ben, breakfast ready. Thanks, Dad. Right then, let's get your hair brushed. Let's get your elf hat on. Don't forget your new watch. There, now you're ready for school. But Mum, elf school doesn't start for ages. Can I go and see Holly? I want to show her my new watch. Okay. But make sure you get to school on time. Of course I will. Elves are never late. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Phew, Mr Elf. Mornings are such hard work. I should say so. <sighs> That's the cockerel crow, Princess Holly. Time for fairies to get up. Uh, is it morning already? <sighs> Breakfast's ready, Holly. Uh, thank you, Lenny Plong. Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. <sighs> And here's your crown. All done. Ooh. Mornings are such hard work. <coughs> Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes, you can hear it ticking. Oh yes, can you tell the time then? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes, well I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye Holly. Bye Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> one. <gasps> Two, three. It took three puffs. That means three o'clock. <laughs> I want to go. One. That means one o'clock. Wow. So is it really one o'clock? <laughs> Not really. It's just a game. But Ben's learning to tell the time properly. Can I go to his lesson? Oh, all right, but I'm sure it won't be much fun. When the big hand and the little hand are pointing straight up, it is 12 o'clock. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, uh, good day, Nanny Plum. Can we join you? Yes, as long as you are quiet. Right, yo. Hmm. Now, uh, 
Uh, who can tell me how we know a watch is working? We can hear it ticking. Oh, yes, Holly. Very good. You see? We fairies know all about time. But you fairies don't have watches or clocks. We have our own ways of telling the time. Hmm, I'm sure you do. Now, how do we know when to wake up in the morning? The alarm clock rings. Correct. I wake up when the cock call cries. cock a doodle -doo -dee! Yes, I see. And how do we know when it's time to go to sleep? When the clock says it's bedtime. Yes. Correct again. I go to sleep when the owl hoots. Twitter woo! <laughs> <laughs> but without clocks, how do you know what time it is? We have dandelion clocks. Look. <gasps> One. <laughs> Have a go. <gasps> Two. And me. <gasps> three. That means three o'clock. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's all fairy nonsense. <laughs> but it's fun. Fun has nothing to do with telling the time. I don't suppose you fairies can tell me what time it is now? It's noon! Ah, yes, Holly. Well done. Wow! How did you know that? Because the sun is high up in the sky. And I know it's lunchtime because my tummy is rumbling. <laughs> How silly. Excuse me. My tummy is never wrong. Oh, it is lunchtime. School is finished for today. Hooray! Holly, would you like to come over to play this afternoon? Yes. OK. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. <laughs> hmm. It's almost six o'clock. Where's Holly? Hi, Ben. You're late. Fairies are always late, and I'm a fairy. <laughs> Hurry up! I've got something to show you. What's that noise? You'll see. <laughs> are we there? Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. This is the great elf clock. Wow. The most accurate clock of all. What does accurate mean? It means it always tells the right time. Quite so, Ben. I set it every night by the distant bells. They usually ring about now. Da-da-dum. Da di da, da da la la, da dum di da. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. That means it's time for dinner. Dinner time! Dinner time! The bells, the bells. Now I need to adjust the clock. But that's just Nanny Plum. What do you mean? Nanny rings the bell every night when it's dinner time. <clears throat> and how does Nanny Plum know it's dinner time? Her tummy rumbles. What? You mean I've been setting the great elf clock to a fairy's tummy rumble? Yes. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. The tummy does seem to be amazingly accurate. It is dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ben. See you tomorrow, Holly. A 
And the beautiful princess lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Holly. But Daddy, the owl hasn't hooted yet. There's the owl now. And the fierce dragon ate the witch. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Ben. But Mum, the clock hasn't chimed yet. Oh, it's chiming now. Good night, Holly.